St. Joseph Calisantius, Pinarias, 1638, Rome. St. Joseph Casalans, called the Mother of God, was born of a noble family at Petralta in Aragon, on the 15th day of September, in the year of Christ 1556. From his tender years he began to show that fondness for children, and that gift of instructing them for which he was afterwards distinguished. He called them around him when he was still but a child himself, and taught them the mysteries of the faith and godly prayers. He was deeply learned in profane and sacred letters, and it was while he was studying theology at Valencia that he bravely overcame the wiles of a noble and powerful lady and, by a brilliant victory, kept untarnished that virginity which he had vowed to God. He became a priest in consequence of a vow, and was summoned by many bishops in the kingdoms of New Castile, Aragon, and Catalonia to help them in their work, wherein he surpassed the hopes of all, correcting depraved manners, restoring the discipline of the church, and marvelously putting an end to hatreds and bloody feuds. But in obedience to a vision from heaven and many warnings from the voice of God, he left Spain and went to Rome. In Rome he afflicted his body with extraordinary hardness of living, with watching, and with fasting, and so passed his days and nights in prayer, and in the contemplation of heavenly things. He was used to visit the seven churches almost every night, a custom which he kept for many years. Having joined several godly brotherhoods, it was strange how eagerly he relieved the poor by alms and every sort of kindness, choosing especially the sick and the imprisoned. When the city was ravaged by a pestilence, such was the charitable zeal with which he joined in the labors of St. Camillus de Lely, that besides the great help which he brought to the sick poor, he would even carry the bodies of the dead on his own shoulders to burial. Having understood from God that his call was to bring up children in godliness and good learning, he founded the order of the poor regular clerks of the pious schools of the Mother of God, who profess as the special object of their institute a singular care for the teaching of the poor. This institute received the warm approval of Pope Clement VIII, Pope Paul V, and other popes, and in a short time obtained a marvelous extension through many provinces and kingdoms of Europe. In this work Joseph Casalans underwent so many toils, and patiently bore so many griefs, that he was proclaimed by all men a wonder of endurance and a very image of holy Job. Even when he was at the head of his whole order, and toiling with all his might for the salvation of souls, he never ceased to teach children, especially the poor, to sweep out the schoolrooms, and to accompany the scholars home. Thus in spite of broken health he worked on for two and fifty years with the greatest long-suffering and lowliness. He won that God should glorify him by many miracles worked in the presence of his disciples, and that the most blessed virgin should appear to him, with the child Jesus in her arms, blessing them as they prayed. He refused wealthy preferments when they were offered to him. He was eminent for the gift of prophecy, for the power of reading the secrets of the heart, of knowing distant events, and of miracles. The Virgin Mother of God to whom from his childhood he had had an especial love, and other heavenly ones, honored him by often allowing him to see them. He foretold the day of his own death, and the restoration and growth of his order, which seemed at that time to be almost entirely destroyed. He fell asleep in the Lord at Rome, upon the twenty-five day of August, in the year of salvation 1648, and of his own age ninety-two. An hundred years after his death his heart and tongue were found whole and incorrupt. God glorified him by many miracles even after his death, and he was first crowned by Pope Benedict XIV. With the honors paid to the blessed, and then solemnly enrolled by Pope Clement XIII among the saints. O Ramus! O God, who waste pleased to provide a new help for thy church by raising up thine holy confessor Joseph to train up the young in the spirit of understanding and godliness. We beseech thee for his sake, and by his prayers, to grant us the grace always so to work and so to teach, that we may finally attain unto thine everlasting joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.